Hello everyone, this is Harris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Ma Teng Saving Your Disaster campaign as we continue for episode 2 from turn 57 in the spring season of 194. So last time we fixed a lot of the issues and we have our first army. We have decided that the first thing we need to do is end the Mandate War so that we don't have fervor anymore. So this army is going to be pushing out. I think we will stay here for one more turn and then we're going to start advancing against the two bandits a little bit more. This episode hopefully we'll have a second army that will officially come onto the field. Ooh, ranking up is something I don't want to see, but not too bad. Zhang Lu probably will not be a court character. Well, he does have 5% corruption reduction and yeah, a lot of food, so there is hope. Maybe we do grab that. Given that he is administrator of Basi, mm, so he has pretty much everything we need him to have. Let's just grab this for now. And this group is going to get recalled. Our second army is going to go down south. We're going to go grab the Shu land away from the old turbans so we can maybe stop the fervor spread. In the north, I do want this, but I'm not sure I want to go back to war with the Lan rebels right now, who we're in a very comfortable place and doesn't really help us that much, except for maybe save some money by getting some of the horse pastures. We have two of them, so I'm pretty happy with that. There's a third one here. Uh, we will just be missing one, so not a big deal. So I think we'll be summoning the army here and going to war right after. Aside from that, let's see what else we can do this turn. We can do a little bit of build-up. We do have our food back. I don't know how often we're going to get another round of the starvation event, which is just terrible. Looking at satisfaction or public order, um, it's not too bad. We might have one here later. Hopefully we'll have enough characters to deal with that. We do have a much healthier court for our second army. It's going to be Ma Chol, and we'll find a couple generals who works well with him. And that's going to be our second army. So not really going to build anything here. This we could swap it. It'd be a little bit less money, but we get to upgrade it. So that could be some some improvement. She's going to have to go back and do this. We're going to have to find a spot for her. Tyran it is. Or else we can't keep the satisfaction under control. And that's just... That's just rough. Mm, what can we do with her? Was uh, decently happy now. Let me borrow this just to keep her at 25. And that's pretty much everything. We could invest a bit more, but I think we want to save the money for our army. So let's just save it. We don't have enough base income, but after we conquer a bit more of the north, it should be fine. By base income, I mean just so that our income doesn't go negative once we go full unit. Oh, come on. Surprisingly, he can handle it, thanks to our new core positions. We are going to need some commanders soon, so if we spot a decent one, they don't even have to be great. We just need them to do assignment for us down the line. So assignment slots might be useful, or we can just kind of ignore fervor until we wipe out the yellow turbans, which could also be a plan. All right, I'm going to rotate this so we know we don't go over. We would still like to replenish a little bit, and then we'll attack. Hmm, as faction air, 
there's not much we can get from the Vanguard tree. This is not a great ability, but I think we're going to pick it up. Because we want to get flame, but we don't really want these two. We could also go this way. These are decent. All right, we're going to play the long game. Hmm, which way should we start attacking? Should we start attacking here, perhaps? Grab the weaponsmith early? This is all food. So we could recruit maybe here? Alright, let's see. Taoxiu Vanguard will be pretty decent. Looks like Fugan can get along with them. We could use a strategist. I'm not sure if we want to throw out some trebuchets in the army or just go full cav. He can't stay around and get lack of purpose, so we're going to have to throw him out here. And yeah, we're going to probably wait a turn. Well, maybe we can afford it. 18 units of this is what, 300 times 9? 2,700 to get a full army of Tiang Hunters, and the cost of the upkeep is only about 2,000. We comfortably could afford a Tiang Hunter army here, without even doing the General of the Left boost. The Horse Pastures is amazing. Okay, his rank is too low. We can't get Tiang Hunters. We're going to fix that. We're going to use this to cheat a little bit. All right, so that should do it. He's mm, he's satisfied enough, but I don't really want to mess with him. Genuine loyalty. It's not his. Interesting. There's eight points of public order on it. Ooh. That is... Very, very, very tempting. Okay. Then we're just going to water clock. Just one is good. He could pick up the set bonus, which gives us 50% range firing rate for the cavalry units, the whole army. All right, we do dip a little here. It's not a big problem. Alright, that's not bad. This means if we just push a little bit, we can afford another army pretty easily. Which is good. Which is definitely very, very good. Let's see. Let's see where else we want to throw some money at. Mm. I'm not sure if these buildings are actually worth investing right now. Our corruption is creeping up. We could go the route here. But we would probably want to do it everywhere. 2% with administrator. Yeah, I'm still a little clingy with the cash. I'm going to just do the county upgrade so that they get better red news. And we'll keep the cash in case we want to recruit a couple generals next turn. And that's pretty much it. We can adjust tax right now. But with fervor, it's like... It's rough. Like, if we desperately want money, we can push for it and just deal with rebellion. But right now, with a plus eight public order, it helps quite a bit in most places. I mean, the easiest fervor solution is to wipe out the old turbans. Okay.
We're not at war with the John Brothers yet, so we'll clean up our bandit faction and then declare war on them. So we don't really have to go against them right now. And we could invest a third army in this area later. Yeah, for a bigger retinue, I think we're going to throw our money at the counties for now. This is a lot of faction support. Fervor, obviously, being in the north is a problem. Local character. Yeah, this is all Fervor, pretty much. And we'll do, of course. It's their fault, which is why we're going to wipe them out. All right, one more turn here. Because we're all cavalry, our movement is pretty insane. We can strike this pretty easily. So we probably want to wait two turns to make sure we are fully replenished before we move on. Okay, we're finally going to get out of the war with the High Empire, which is great. We'll help them fight the Yellow Turbans. We'll do one food. I mean, we're above 20, so I'm going to be... Pretty gutsy here. Not worry about the potential minus 20. Uh, it might be actually way more than this. Okay, I lied. Well, that's a good deal for us. And John Yan, we're going to wipe out. So if we just look at the map, diplomatically, we're only at war with Zhang Yan. Zhang jiang has been pieced out, but she's right here. We're basically just going to go to war with Yellow Turbans after this. We'll go claim the last piece of Taiyuan. They are nowhere to be seen, actually. I don't know what commandery she part of. It's her husband's faction, and I don't know which generic wife this is. Alright, that's fine. Now we can really focus on the yellow turbans. And just to be safe, I guess we could invest in a little bit more food. All right, should be good. I'm just going to trespass a little bit here. They probably already hates us, like, so it's not really going to matter. No, I really do just covet your land. Oh, he has a scrappy little army here. Okay. We'll wipe it. Ah, Liu Bu. Ah, but most likely a spy. Most likely a spy. We could employ him just for his items and then kick him away. Could be our third assignment character if we want to go that route. A little bit of charge bonus. Five points. Not really worth it. Hundred percent commerce boost. Hmm, interesting. It's a TUP character. He does have his weapon and his horse. Yeah, we're gonna just let him in and then ask him to leave. I mean, he's gonna leave by himself anyways. We could maybe banish him for a bit of money, but we're not that greedy and our satisfaction is not great, so we're not gonna tempt fate. Suppressive fire. People of the horse, 
This is just for herself, I believe. The range attack that reduces enemy speed and range block chance, which is great for our archers, horse archers. Let's try to get this first. He's a good lead. He doesn't need this. This would be better. He's gonna run. Alright, take them a little bit. I'm gonna assume it's not defended, and that we're gonna just charge in there and take it, and we're not gonna wait for the replenishment. Pretty much all the Han factions will love us, because we're going to be dedicating ourselves to fight the Yellow Turbans. Eventually we'll have one army that's actually worth fighting with our retinue. Right now it's like zero casualty delegate, you know, why not? Oh, this helps, we'll pay for that. Some more food for us. We're going to come over and grab this before going down. We actually need more assignment slots, so the next round of prestige points, we might actually invest in a bit more in that direction. This is definitely going to get a rebellion soon. We'll do his next turn. We do have people ready to go. So we're not going to worry. Oh, we can have them step out for a turn so that it will actually happen. We do want to see it. All right, the rest of the money. Yeah, eventually we want it to be a small city at least. We'll spend it on some of the upgrades. We have the food to kind of not worry about any bad events. Eventually, I think the Han factions will love us. This will probably take a little bit of time to get there. Maybe we'll have to fight this one, depending on... Uh, no, maybe not. The garrison's too small. Hopefully not a complete wipe. This way we can reduce the public order issue for more than one turn. Alright, we'll keep them on the field. I don't like this bug where you're losing uh, Imperial favor for fighting yellow turban rebels. Administrator of Sihu. Okay, let's go this route and grab that. Don't really care about the reserve capacity part. We can move. Uh, all cavalry army are great at taking counties. Just move so fast. And we're trading this speed for being slowed down during big siege battles. Hmm. 
I don't know if we're ever going to get trebuchets. We might just do a full cavalry run. Like, it really benefits us quite a lot. But we'll still pick this up because we want night battle. Okay, that's as far as that goes. Now we can turn down and take care of the rest. They're moving. We're going to max this, see if it gets us some good weapons. Not that we're missing any because TUP is just flooded with good stuff. All right, let's continue. Really now? This is how you rule? <laughs> our, our emperor is a vengeful rebel. He wants this. I mean, we can give it to him. It's a very low ranked... Huh. Sure. Can we get some Imperial favor for doing this? Really don't want to deal with the constant uh, 10 points. Han is going to get wiped by the Lound Rebels. That's actually good. Then when we turn the Lound Rebels, we just have to fight one faction, not two. Well, and we don't have to betray. And they don't need to know that we wanted to fight them. A uh, bunch of characters who we don't really want. Alright, we'll go the slow route. Let's see what they give us. They give us decisive, yeah. I figure this is just too small. We want you. Ah, a Sea Down Warlord. Okay, we'll take you. Unbreakable too with the stubborn. We don't have a proper horse. Um. So we have a great horse that has a set bonus with our armor. He also have a great horse. So I don't know who to give the red hair to right now. I could give it to Tulsio. Yeah, sure, why not? He can have it for now. Alright, we came this way to get the tier 4 horse pasture and eventually the tier 5 horse pasture. This is nice, but we don't need it. I mean, eventually we'll get it because we're already all the way here. Alright, so our money needs to go to our horse pastures. Not enough for the other one, but that's fine. Did they get stronger? No items. Uh, minus... 40 points is good enough. We're technically plus 40 points. Mm, still minus 22. They need to get destroyed for this to improve. We are going to go back here, I think. Instead of going down here, this is a rank 9 settlement. Interesting. I think we're actually going to sack that when we get a chance. Alright, now the problem is, where are we fighting next? Looks like here, but we lost this, so we can't really walk over there. We could turn on Bianzhong, who is not... Oh, actually, he's in quite a few alliances. So, no. 
I guess we'll just trespass and just start attacking from die because we want the horse pasture anyways. That's probably the plan. This also needs to get upgraded, but as you can see, we're kind of out of cash. That's nice for construction cost discount. We can redo the horse pasture. I'm not sure if we'll actually improve our income because we don't have that many state uh, industry income buildings. Ah, he has a negative trait. Let's fix that. Oh, never mind. We have quite a few industry buildings. I guess the county buildings. Well, that's massive. That's, that's fake income. It's not going to actually translate. All right. This can be canceled and reset for a little bit cheaper. And we might just have enough for both. We're down with one. Perfect. Just perfect. What trait did he pick up, by the way? Energetic. Whatever he had that wasn't good, now it's very good. He's unbreakable, extra movement, extra charge. The horse that got freed up, we'll give it to him for the set bonus. And I guess he can wear this, even though we don't have the weapon. And we'll have him come out and uh, have his own little town unit. It'd be perfect. Okay. All right, we can do some building up for this round or this year so that we can take advantage of our... Hmm. He's down there. I don't know how we're going to fight him. We can maybe go back to Lord Zhengjiang if we want. So he's actually marrying his daughter to us, and we're going to be receiving a payment from him. It's honestly not a bad match. We get a free family character. They get to be, you know, kind of our... Yeah, sure. This makes sense. We're just going to change this to maybe per turn income. Okay, they're a bit poor. But we have so much food now that uh, maybe we can spice things up a little. Let's make sure she's joining us. Yes. We have seven of these. I mean, we have a ton. It's fine. I don't need them. We get a family character that doesn't cost us any upkeep. She's probably going to bring some items. Maybe not. Maybe she's not heir. I think she has a brother. But hopefully an item. Ah, uh, at least a horse. And she gets upkeep discount for armies in her administrator. Okay, I, I can deal with that. Uh, we're not replenished. We should be here. And then dash across next turn. Or maybe in a few turns. His satisfaction is totally fine now. I guess just for the stat boost. Alright, we'll pick them off on our way. I guess that'll be next turn. Maybe we should turn all of them into small cities while we get the chance. We do get prestige point here, but this is not the version I want. So let's do that. All right, the rebellions are stacking up. Wan and Taiyuan. Basi is ready on the field. Oh, 
You might try to do them with two characters. Let's see if we can pull it off. I mean, these two can come out as well. They're just going to cost a pretty penny. Oh, no, that's money. At least that means we have a new trade route available. Let's see if we can find a new partner. Okay, no one that really stands out that much. We might have to fight that one. All right, can we take care of you with two? Yes, we can. That's good news. Right, he's not going to have enough movement until the turn after. Alright, we're going to pay for you. Eventually, we have to pay for you. Alright, they'll chill here. We'll also pay for you. And we'll give them a third next turn to take care of that. Alright, we should be able to hit that next turn with our movement. Shouldn't be a problem. Ah, uh, John Zhao's gonna get wiped. John Zhao's pretty close. Hmm. Might have some issues there later. Three more turns. We gotta watch that. I mean, eventually, I think we need that. I'm going to get everything to a small city first. Let's see if we have leftover money, we'll build that. All right, pretty poor still. Looks like the High Empire got it. I mean, it's better than Zhang Ziao picking it up. I suspect the Han and Zhang Ziao are not fighting each other. Okay. All right, no character coming into our recruitment pool, so Zhong Jiang's not joining us. Ooh. 
this is a little rough because I eventually want to go back to war with them. Wait. They dropped the level. It was level 4. We might have to fight it because I know Zhang Zhao's army is nearby. Xiao 啊, huh, we actually can't get there. But looks like nobody's home. I'm guessing the army will be here. Not sure though. After we take Dai, I think we might want to recruit a new army here for the future. But not this season. This season I think we want to throw the money into the buildings. Eventually want to set up the corruption reduction building here and this we want to do a small city We don't have fire arrows on anyone, but I Still think we can fight this cleaner on the field Our generals are not super healthy either so might have some issues there we at least have her ability. Yeah, just overcoming the towers would be one thing. Wait, Ray of Fire has fire arrows, I'm pretty sure. Alright, there is the guaranteed duel mod, so if we want to force any fights, it's super easy. Question is, do we want to? I think we do. Also should heal us a little bit. And we get some experience. I'm gonna fight him. Alright, we'll see if we can start some fire here. Basically, we're hoping the spread will hit the towers right. <laughs> 8%. Maybe if we we're like super, super close. Maybe we can just also just try to rush them. These are all non-spear unit. You just said we can't really harass. Oh, I guess we could. We could just round about to the other side. Use our mobility to the fullest. Keep these here. And let's just call these... Uh,
Maybe that fire will spread. Alright, got the wind. Get the tower shooting at us. Mm, that might hurt. We don't have this anymore, so we'll see what happens. We're gonna go enter from the other side. I want to see if I can set these on fire. Or at least set some of these buildings on fire. Oh, she needs a clear vision. Maybe this. Good enough. Go, go, go. Don't get held by the towers. Alright, now we enter. Lost a lot of health. Yeah, we burned that down. I don't know. That's not going to spread. I need to go over here and shoot another one over here. But first, let's micro these guys in. Now we have control. We're inside, we have 250 range, we outrange everything they have. We can ride around and just pick off units. All right, they're kind of banning their gates. Let's go control that. Then we can send this group in from this side. It's a slow process. We're going to have to take some time to just kill things. Um, let's see. I can control that. We're just gonna roar and get him out of there. No reason to have Maton die here. I'm gonna do a slam on the bridge. And then we're gonna harass the enemy range. We're now in. Okay, those are unbreakable. We're gonna have to kill every single one of those. Slam. Back him up. 
wait a little bit, wait a little bit. Charge through that. You want to get swarmed. Could do a slam here. Charge through. Mm. Not a great area for these guys because of the archers there. Let's pull them back a little. Everyone here has been wiped. We might want to rush these guys now. Go, 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 go. Might be pretty costly to fight through the towers. We'll see if we can avoid that. Ooh, trapped here. Not ideal. going to send it. We're going to hope to get... Oh, I can't chain route because of the unbreakable. Let's charge the unbreakable then. Ignore the archers. How many are left? Six. Let's see if we can kill those six. Yeah, he's gonna have to go over there and take care of the archers bouncing back. We have to kill these. They must die. Once we kill this unbreakable thing, we're going to be okay. I mean, if we really wanted to limit casualties, we could pull it back and just shoot them to death. They lost all their range. We could even just line up here. As long as we're outside tower range. It's just about killing these guys. It's too slow. Let's kill them. It's just we're taking so much damage from the towers while we do this. Alright, we're gonna back it up to here. And then we're just gonna shoot the rest to death. As we can. Let's 
史实已尽，无法继续射击了。We're not very accurate when it comes down to shooting one guy. But we have a lot of arrows, so let's be patient. Tail line takes. All right, not too bad, given our army composition. If we get fire arrows, it'll be a lot easier. Yeah, we'll take that. A burn officer. Yeah, we picked up another item. Okay, not too bad. Alright, we want to grab everything here. Mm, their versions are okay. Let's just get into a small city. We could get faction support and then just pick up final rush. Not that important. Let's do this and mobility. We need this for night battle and for fire arrows. Okay, I think we have done pretty much everything. We can't force any of these. It's too low. Alright, his main army is going to be at the horse pasture. That's going to be a test. Depending on how high level the horse pasture is. I think we can easily summon another army here. We can definitely afford it. Masio? Why are you not with us? Okay, so he left the Hun with a grudge, which means he's not a spy. He's also a family member as well, you can see. Oh? Yuan Shao's wife. Hmm, I think we'll pass on her most likely. Alright, Masio coming back with us. Ah, uh, who is going to be the third? I'm leaning to having her as a administrator. So maybe Sun Ben. Alright, so two of them have not enough rank for what I want them to get. We're going to have to do this in two batches, it seems. Okay, it's not that difficult, but we could set a trap. And why not go for the easier path? Look how much it costs us to recruit them now. And this is before picking this up. It's going to be ridiculous. He'll get the item next turn.
I'll just take a horse. We're basically going to have free cavalry units. These ranked up, and there's one more tier to go, which we can get next turn once we get the final reform. It's not a huge improvement, 18% to 20%, but like that's going to be enough. And then like when we get the fourth one, or when we get the third one, it's going to be even more ridiculous. Um, let's see what we want. Um, any willing trade partner would be great. Let's not name the Leon Rebels. No resistance. I mean, a lot of Rebel factions and then Naman factions, those are all things we can easily fight. He's lowered it from level 9 to level 7. I guess they're just running out of food, which is good. Ah, Rebels. We used up our seasonal deployable, oh, yeah, so we're gonna have to do it next turn. All right, any other buildings we can squeeze in this turn? Guess not. So there goes that discount. Our income's gonna tank a little next turn. Well, it shouldn't be too bad. Let's see if he falls for this. He does. Well, get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. Now he's trapped and die. We're going to take it and then get the recruitment on the other group. Seriously? We still need to lower our difficulty? We're doing much better. Our daughter is coming of age. Great. Let's get the tier 5 horse pasture. And there's minus 8% cavalry unit recruitment discount on this. You can see our income tanked. Uh, force the trade. Can we force it with the Han faction? Does it have to be Liu Yan? Can it be High Empire? Do we have land bordering the Han? Yeah, we do. We want this one. And we want this one. Alright, let me go grab this. That's a piece of cake. Let's see what level the horse pasture is. Rank 3, not too bad. Now we're going to borrow this item again. And let's see how cheap it is now. How cheap can it get? Zero. All the town unit have become free. Upkeep is only 67. Basically the question is, how many armies do we want? We can get as many as we like. And this is without hitting rank 5. So another 2% across the board. This one has 4 more percent. It's about 8 more percent discount on the upkeep. It's going to get even lower. Alright, we have 10k to spend. We're going to upgrade both. They're going to wait. We're basically going to have to split our forces. John Ball's down here. John Dell's probably all in the north. Eight more counties. Who's unhappy? Huh. That's the best we can do for now. Did we have one assignment come back? Yeah, that's what happened. Anyone else? Pretty red this turn. Uh, the Simon characters themselves. We can afford a title. The attendant for now. She's ready orator. Let's upgrade her to uh 
Chief of Records. It's sad, but that's that's currently our situation. Seven more points. Uh, he's trying to form an army, but he doesn't have the replenishment. Okay, so he's not a threat. Alright, since they both can't move... Get you out here, sister. Okay, looking good. Rebellions everywhere, but looking good. If we can just defeat the yellow turbans, fervor would disappear and our... Oh, we just set up a trade deal with you. What do we do to you? I mean, those were in the past. Okay, the High Empire backstab us before we help them put down their uh, massive rebellion. And we're gonna have to form more armies, which is not too bad. He runs away wisely. That's a real army. All right, we got our rank up. Pretty sure we want to go at least one more administrator. I'm thinking we need a lot more assignments. For satisfaction's sake. We can recruit her for that. And we can move a few more characters into courts. Come on, it's gotta be a place that you don't mind the local administrator. And speaking of local administrator, let's see, where else do we want administrator? Mm, right now, maybe Sihe. I mean, we don't really want one. I we don't really want one. All right, we're going to give up this attack because I don't really care about the result of that. I don't want them to be doing this here. All right, he snuck back. Tricky. Okay. Grab a third. All we could recruit her. The bonuses aren't terrible. The corruption, obviously, it's not great, but it's not the worst. I mean, our court assignment characters are the ones who have the most difficulties here. Let's throw them there. Can we at least downgrade you? That's fine. We'll let her slowly absorb that. She's... yeah, she didn't get a position.
Okay, not terrible. Um, don't have a third. Yep, we need a third. And let's randomly recruit one. Hmm, it's a bit rough right now. We could recruit one and then fire them. Or we can just redo it next turn. They're trapped. I don't really want them to be trapped there. Alright, the Han betrayed us. Surprise, surprise. We're gonna ignore that for the most part. We're gonna push on with the main force here. They're gonna still be wiping out the fervor. That's for our benefit too. Would be means they missed. We're gonna starve them out. And also use this opportunity to take a look at our items. Lumberyard map, they would get towers. Yeah, rather they come out and fight us. Starve them out. I know we're not making much money anymore, but I figure we can probably just make money from post-battle. So we're going to still spend everything. <laughs> A little bit worried about our treasury. It's okay. We're going to be okay. Alright, open field, we'll take it. I mean, with guaranteed duels and TUP items, it feels like we're just punishing the enemy general. Because there's so many good weapons, we just send our guys up. They can't even say no. All right, because we went down the red tree, we actually have a ton of things. I, I don't want to use things that could hurt us, so... Uh, They all have items. I will right, we'll take the rank five. Alright, 
我军伏兵已暴露。在。敌兵就绪。All right, we don't really want to waste ammo on melee calves or things that have a hundred percent range block chance. Pull them back a little bit. A few more seconds. That will use that. Now you're just going to be sitting ducks here. This we want to just overwhelm with. Don't know if he can get back on his horse. Okay, we might not beat that in a straight up fight. Let's pull it back a little. Basically, kite like crazy. Like, we're fatigue resistant, they're not. We just basically try to pick them apart. Mm. We could go help them. Alright, we won all three duels. Keep shooting. Before the spear unit gets here. Alright, we got them. Time to pull. Just want to turn that to a white flag real quick, real quick, real quick. Alright, if we're not going to get it, let's just go. We just simply outrange everything they have. Weave through here and grab that guy. I'm gonna kite them in two different directions here. They did bounce back, which is a bit unfortunate, but we couldn't. We couldn't stay there any longer with the spear unit. Alright, quick kill, and then we need them back over here. Yeah, they're busy, they're busy. We can easily charge that. I think there's a spear unit there, though. No, no reason to risk it. It feels like we can turn around and kill this. Alright, come out over here. We're gonna fully surround them and just circle them and shoot them and circle them and shoot them until they all die.
Yep, now the infantry just can't do anything. Like, what can this group do? We don't shoot very accurately, I, I give them that, but... Maybe with a few rank up, it'll get better. Right now, this is fine. Even spear guards, we just, you know, spread out, shoot from multiple directions. Their shield's only good from the front. It just takes a while, though. <laughs> and a lot of clicking. help them and speed things up a little here. Alright, they're starting to waver. route uh, we absolutely want to chase after every unit or else we're gonna have to fight them in the garrison defense battle I mean it'll be a delegate but it'll still make the delegate a little bit easier here we have the cavalry to do it why not right All right, we'll take it. Yeah, pretty good win. It's like the blueprint of how to play horse archers. Hmm, depending on if we want to peace out with the Han later on, I guess we do. Let's release. 
I don't really care about the item. We'll just release. This way we might get a favorable peace deal later on. Because I'm not going to take over the entire Han. Ooh, it's nice helping us wipe out some Han armies. I think that's a rebel army though. Either way, he had to use his manpower for that. Invite Liu Chong. We'll say yes. And let Liu Chong say no, right? That way he still likes us. Alright, they pulled back. We'll take care of the rebels and then go get them later. There's no rush here. Alrighty, so we have to contend with both sides of the Mandate War. I guess that makes sense. We are the Lao Rebels after all. Uh, we will continue to try to wipe out Gundu's faction and the Yellow Turbans down here. We'll probably end up going to war with Naman, which is okay, because we still have to deal with Imperial Intrigue, which also doesn't make sense since we are technically a rebel faction, but whatever. Uh, we're going to push this way. We're going to wipe out Zhang out first and probably all the Yellow Turban Rebels in this area. And then our second army is going to be finishing up the Han territory and then wiping out Zhang Bao's faction down here as well. Um, we have some internal rebellions, but we are going to just basically summon some generals, take care of that. Shouldn't be a big deal. And hopefully we'll just keep rising in rank, finish the Mandate War, and see if we want to finish the Three Kingdoms scenario, depending on who the other kingdoms are. Um, the Empire never dissolved, so I don't know how that's going to really affect this. Like, I don't know if there's a Three Kingdoms with them still around, but we'll see. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you all next time. Bye!